What's up everybody? Moses here. Uh, this time we're gonna bring you an Ark Trapper Saboteur video guide. Um, <clears throat> let's get going. So I've been uh, playing the Soul Cell Found Incursion League um, and two weeks ago the one month of the Soul Cell Found Incursion event started um, but I made my character just yesterday. I've been very busy with the Soul Cell Found Incursion, making lots of fun builds, enjoying myself a lot. And since I got the Saboteur rank 7 level 100 minor last time, I thought, let's wait with the race. And uh, started this trapper uh, yesterday. Thought, you know, I'll figure out what's, what's, what's everything is all about. Um, so here we are. Let's start with the links we're using for clear arc traps and for single target lightning spire. The current links for arc traps are arc, trap support, <coughs> cluster traps, trap and mine damage, increased critical strikes, and added lightning. The lightning spire tra uh, trap is linked with um, added lightning, trap and mine damage, control destruction. Um, when you reach higher level maps, uh, t red tier maps, uh, monsters will have more resistances and then you'll swap, uh, that's why I'm leveling up double lightning penetration here um, to swap the add lightning with. So we're gonna have the same links unless, except uh, instead of added lightning we're gonna be using lightning pen once we reach red maps in both of these setups. <clears throat> uh, these are the main links uh, as well we're using for movement skill, shield charge, faster attacks and fortify Fortify can be linked uh, at level one. You don't need to level it up anymore. Um, for another movement skill to, you know, bridge gaps, we're using faster casting flame dash. A um, couple of other useful skills is the cast one damage taken setup. Uh, I keep it at level three. Immortal call at level one. Uh, increased duration. We're going to level it all the way up and then flip it and then level it all the way up again for maximum increased duration with quality. Uh, and feeble is kept at level 7 so it will be able to proc uh, whenever we take 661 damage. So this will trigger both Immortal Call and Enfeeble and these two are going to be also supported with increased duration to increase the duration of the curse to increase the duration of the physical immunity. Uh, other useful links is Summon Ice Golem and Summon Stone Golem. Stone Golem I keep just for ascendancy trials because it's sometimes a bit annoying you run out of flasks and there's a trap in front of you your health is low you pop the, the stone golem and then you regenerate up to full but for mostly uh, for the most part for mapping we're going to be using summon ice golem for the extra crit um, and a very very useful link is bear trap bear trap is not something that we spam on the regular but it's something that whenever there's an essence monster or a map boss or any other thing, what it does, it makes them 80% movement speed slow debuff um, that lasts for uh, 3 seconds and it makes them take more damage from traps so we want that more damage. It says increased damage but essentially uh, it's a more multiplier. Uh, enemies take increased damage means essentially 15% more damage from our traps. So we're going to throw one bear trap uh, on a big single target and then we're going to ensnare it for three seconds making it take more damage and reduce significantly its movement speed by 80%. So it's pretty huge and then we're going to be throwing our lightning spire traps to simply obliterate this monster. Uh, lightning spire has also three charges as you can see right here. Uh, for the bear trap and for the lightning spire. Um, so when we're spamming these three, they're going to take some time to recharge. Okay, uh, we're going to be use one bear trap and then three lightning spire traps, and then uh, we're just going to spam our arc traps until these uh, come back off of cooldown. Usually, the boss will be dead. Everything will be dead uh, by that time. So that's going to be basically the gameplay against bosses, and for the for the rest of the time, we're going to be using uh, arc traps to just obliterate screens. Uh, arc will chain, will do uh, more damage for each remaining chain, um, which is pretty huge. Maybe they're gonna nerf it, I don't know. But for now, it's very, very big and the damage is pretty, pretty crazy. 
Um, what is there else to say? An essence worm used uh, with Wrath Aura. If you don't have an essence worm, you can simply reserve Herald of uh, Thunder to add a little bit of extra lightning damage to your spells. But uh, you should get yourself an essence worm if you're in the soul cell found setup. Then you probably know what you're doing. If not, then make sure that you highlight your um, white or normal tier unset rings and use chance orbs until you get yourself an essence worm. Good luck. Uh, I created this character yesterday and just dropped, uh, which is pretty crazy. I also dropped a bright beak, which is also pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, quite happy about that. The character is currently 86. We're just opening up the Atlas. Again, I started the race yesterday. The race started like two weeks ago. Bunch of people are already level 100. But I was busy with the Soul Soul Found Incursion, having a blast. And uh, decided to check out the traps to see how they go. Um, yeah, this is uh, all about the gear and links. For the rest of the stuff, we just want rare items with life resist. So we'll be able to... Uh, max our resistances at 75 and uh, yeah for the flask it's pretty standard uh, staunching heat another heat because that's what I got uh, an adrenaline flask and a warding flask uh, basically is what we need uh, if you want you can get a basalt flask for physical da additional physical damage reduction uh, but currently this is my uh, flask setup um, yeah, so let's talk about leveling. You are starting as a saboteur. Sorry, you're starting as a shadow. You become a saboteur later. Um, and the way that you travel, at least the way I traveled the tree, is pretty much the elemental damage nodes here. Trickery, life, crit. Just go crit. Grab these saboteur nodes here. Just go crit. And uh, yeah, avoid these elemental damage nodes. Just straight up go crit from the beginning and uh, cold heart calculation into nullification evasion energy shield dexterity life and then i went into high explosives devastating devices clever construction then i went into master sapper grabbed uh phase acro and that was basically it the first layer of defense is there at that point i went up grabbed life grabbed the crit uh rushed to pick up Blast Cascade uh, and then into life and then I just went into the from the intelligence node one two three more life went to mind over matter at that point I started filling up these life nodes these two crit nodes and then I went all the way down here uh, discipline and training I took this one later took discipline and training I needed to resist, so I went into Elementalist, um, and at that point, I filled in the uh, mana nodes, um, the life nodes, and then I went into Light of Divinity, and now I'm going into Purity of Flesh. This was the order of my leveling, and um, at that point, what I did is um, I had enough resistances, so I took these two nodes... And then removed four nodes. So four minus two. Exactly. We got two extra nodes uh, at that point. So this is a bit more efficient. You don't want to get all these nodes. It, these are basically one dexterity node. Energy shield evasion useless. Energy shield evasion useless. And here we're getting 5% max life. Uh, energy shield evasion useless. Because yeah. And 8% uh, and to all resist. So 5 life, 8 all resist. Not worth in my opinion. Some people take it. I personally don't think that you need it. So in order to, in, instead of getting 4 nodes, only later, that's we're talking about level 75 plus, uh, grab these 2 intelligence nodes because you're already connected. You know, and unspec these 4 nodes. But that's very, very, very later. Okay, so grabbing. We g went through that. There's no reason to go through that again. Um... Yeah, so for defensive layers, we're using Acro Phase Acro, which is pretty good. Um, pretty insane. We don't have that in the Miner. And then Mind Over Matter and all these extra mana nodes and all these extra mana nodes right here. We also get a bunch of mana here. And uh, some mana regeneration from Quick Recovery as well. Um, that's what we have for defense. Additionally, um, we are Saboteur. Saboteur got a couple of, you know, 
leagues ago. Uh, we got a couple of nice defensive nodes. Uh, but what I did is normal cruel, okay, perfect crime chain reaction. And then I went into Pyromaniac, which gives me life regeneration per trap I'm throwing um, and uh, per trap that detonates or triggers and uh, immune to ignite, immune to shock and reduce the cost of traps. So there you go. And when it comes to the last Ascendancy Uber Lab, currently I have three out of six Ascendancy trials. So I still got time to think about it. I don't know what I'm going to do, but probably going to be poor in, the sh poor in the shadows. There are some merits for explosive experts as well. If I feel that my defenses are good, that I'm not dying, uh, which I shouldn't, because if you guys remember, I don't know, about a year ago when I first started with mines, there was no born in the shadows. There was no pyromaniac. We only had mind over matter as a defensive, and it works just fine. You know, I have a level 100 character as a miner, and my original miner, uh, we went all the way to 98 and something. So, I mean, it's all up to you. In the end, if I'm feeling like I'm lacking damage, um, the Glacial Cascade Mines benefits from the area effect and the area damage greatly. You know, it's 20% each. Um, but the, you know, the Trapper, when it comes to Lightning Trap, the area effect area damage doesn't matter here. It only matters to the Lightning Spire, which is an area of effect skill. Arc itself is not an AoE. It doesn't have the AoE tag. So we're only getting the 10% reduced, uh, you know, pen elemental penetration. So there is that. Consider it yourself. I don't know. If I die a lot, if I feel like I need it, I'm going to go into Born in the Shadows. If not, Explosive Expert, most likely what I'm going to end up doing for Uber Lab. And that's when it comes to the tree. Uh, currently we're level 86, so level 82, uh, sorry, level 88 is going to be a jewel socket. Uh, you know, level 90, another jewel socket. Level 92, another jewel socket. And guess what? Uh, wait, did we say this jewel socket? No. So level 94, one, two, three, and four jewel sockets in this build. And ba that's basically when the build is done. At that point, you, if you reach that point, you can speculate and do whatever else that you may think is good. Basically. Um, yeah. I think that covers everything about the tree, the ascendancy, the gear, and the uh, uniques. I guess I did mention essence swarm, but at when when you have 60 unique rings, what you want is uh, to have yourself so self on incursion. Where is it? So many tags, not hardcore. So so found. Why can't I find it? So self on incursion. There it is. So mines. There it is. So when you have 60 unique rings, you want to buy yourself a lore weave from the vendor. Um, you know. Just make sure you get yourself one. Divine it until you have maximum resist or uh, 80. And basically at that point you're golden. It also gives you, of course, the crit chance, the elemental damage, life mana, attributes. It's an amazing body armor. But um, the most important role here is the 80 or resist. This is very, very end game. When you get yourself 60 unique rings, you vendor, you sell them to the vendor. It fills up entire inventory. Uh, and you get yourself one of these babies. Okay? Another thing, alongside with the Essence Swarm, Gems Reserve No Mana, uh, and this allows us to use a unique jewel that's called Clear Mind. Uh, if you don't know about it, again, it's the same for the Miner, same for, I mean, this is the Miner right here. Uh, here I actually went with Born in the Shadows, no regeneration and just explosive expert. So it really is up to you. And these are the mine nodes, these are the trap nodes. So it's a very, very, very similar tree. You can you can see for yourself, you know, the crit, the spell crit, all that stuff. I mean, it's, it's all here. The, the, the mine nodes, the trap nodes are very, very, very similar tree. Okay, so only here we're grabbing some area damage and such because GC is mostly, I mean, it's an area tag. So we're getting all that action going. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to talk about the clear mind. It's going to be useful because we're reserving no mana. This will give us a big DPS increase. 51k. 
uh, 54.5k so 3.5k uh, pretty huge and that's of course you know without the hatred effect and all that stuff so let's get back to the trapper just wanted to show you and on the soul cell phone they actually don't have that item incursion event soul cell found one character <laughs> feels good all right so at this point uh, we talked about everything and uh, let's talk about leveling up a uh, trapper it's very very easy uh, from level one you pick up uh, explosive trap um, freeze pulse and you get your uh, yeah and, and that's pretty much all you need freeze pulse explosive traps are going to demolish everything um, the damage of explosive trap is ridiculous <laughs> Uh, very very early on you're able to get it and it will basically just destroy it all uh, freeze pulse for whatever else that doesn't die and yeah at level 12 that's where the build starts that's where you become a miner you need to keep a look out for uh, two types of wands three linked either green green blue or uh, blue blue green okay um, Either way, you're going to need yourself a green, green, blue. But if you don't have it just yet, because a wand is a mainly intelligent uh, intelligence items, so it will be more likely to roll blue gems and greens. Excuse me. It will be uh, more likely to roll bl uh, blue gem blue sockets uh, rather than greens. So you'll wait until you have yourself a green, green, blue. When you get a green, green, blue hopefully by level 12 should be very very early on uh, you will start using arc traps and this will be your setup uh, you get your trap supports from level 8 you get your multiple traps from level 8 use those uh, use the multiple traps with the explosive traps until then um, with added lightning but then you switch to trap and arc so at that point you'll have um, uh, trap support with uh, arc with multiple traps. This is going to be your main uh, everything killer until Lightning Spire comes along and that's at level 28. But until then, arc traps will just demolish everything. Okay? What you want to do is you want to get yourself a Topaz Ring and an Orb of Alteration with this magic wand. Okay, you make sure it's a magic wand, and then you vendor this wand. It will keep the links and the colors. You will vendor it uh, with a topaz and an orb of alteration, and then you'll get plus one to level of socketed lightning gems. This will increase the level of arc by one. So instead of one, it's going to get plus one from the item as it shows. So it's a level two arc. Um, level one arc deals seven to 37, of lightning lightning damage level 2 arc deals 8 to 47 so it's a pretty huge increase of damage that we're going to get here okay very 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 important if you did not at level 12 find a uh, green green blue but instead you found a blue blue green you will repeat the same process with the plus one to lo to uh, lightning gems only instead of arc traps you're going to be using a lightning trap lightning trap is already a trap so you don't need the extra trap support green gem so what you will have then a lightning trap multiple traps and added lightning so this will be then your setup and it will also destroy pretty much everything because 14 to 41 um, you know it, it just it destroys single target and it will clear very very well okay until keep an eye for plus one wand like this um, you're going to be able to get very very soon whenever you level up your vendor will reset okay it will refresh the vendor um, content whatever you see in this window whenever you level up so level one you're gonna have a window level two you're gonna have a new window level three a new window and so on and so forth so always keep an eye when you level up uh, for the vendor because they will sell that's where I bought these ones okay um, okay so at that point you have yourself a multi trap this is going to be your main setup right unless you didn't find the one but we talked about that so this is your 
uh, clearing setup. Um, at level 28, uh, you should have leveled up a, an additional added lightning, okay? And uh, control destruction, you're going to be able to pick trap and mine damage from the vendor in Act 2 at level 18, all right? Keep those leveled up in your off weapons. Make sure you have a couple of wands or whatever with green blue sockets that you're going to need so that when the time comes and you're level 28, these are going to be gaining a couple more levels so you'll be able to simply deal more damage. And at that point, uh, you should find yourself an evasion energy shield or a pure energy shield for Link. Okay, these will happen. If you only find a three link, awesome. Give up lightning, uh, added lightning for now, but keep an eye out for three blue, one green, um, and that's what you're going to use your lightning spire trap at level 28 and on, and that's going to carry you throughout forever, basically, until you reach red maps and then you swap added lightning for lightning penetration. This is it. Um, lightning spire, control destruction, trap and mine damage, and added lightning, and that's how you level. This will destroy everything important to note, and I almost forgot, a bear trap. From level 4, you can pick up a bear trap. See, required level is 4. Pick it up, level it up, don't start using it until, you know, Act 5 Kitava, you can throw at him a bear trap. When you reach big bosses, big act bosses, throw a bear trap. It will slow the monster down, movement, and will make it take 15% damage, uh, increased damage from traps. So it's a very huge, um, you know, crowd control and effective damage increase for your character DPS output. Um, so get that thing going for yourselves. Make sure you level it up. And when you encounter end game, or sorry, end of the act bosses use one charge of the, the bear trap and then you can just destroy it with the lightning spire okay this is the bear trap right here i have it on my w and then i slam a few cues um, of lightning spire and then if it still is not dead uh, lightning spire will you know continuously deal damage while the monsters is slowed and taking more damage from traps and I keep throwing art traps on those because don't have those don't have charges they just basically um, you know you can you can just spam them as long as you have mana um, this is pretty much it for a weapon if you do not have a bright beak bright beak is amazing for um, all your mapping needs when you remove bright beak make sure to be able to still have the resistances um, over 75 because if you are fighting a stronger boss you will need a dps weapon quote unquote and then for that dps weapon you would want something this is the best one i currently have uh, it has spell damage and global crit multiplier and attack speed. But essentially what you want is spell damage, crit chance for spells, flat elemental damage for spells, global crit multi. Okay? And the global crit chance is an implicit role on daggers. So you would want a dagger that has the global crit chance and pay attention and note that crit chance as a global crit chance affect spells but if an item has increased critical strike chance then it will affect the weapon uh, if you for an example you see this uh, gutting knife has six percent critical strike chance if this item has increased critical strike chance as an explicit role not an implicit then um, it would affect that 6%. It will multiply that 6%. It will not affect the spell. So global crit chance is what you want, and that can only be found as an implicit role. Uh, explicit, you're looking for crit chance for spells. Okay, so... I don't know. I, I, I don't have an example, I don't think. 
Uh, no, I don't have uh, an example because I just don't have the gear right now. But critical strike chance for spells. That's the mod that you build. Oh, I do actually. Uh, increase critical strike chance for spells. I have it on my shield. So the same mod will be on your weapon. Uh, and that's basically what you're looking for. A lot of spell damage, uh, flat elemental for spells, and um, global crit multi, and uh, implicit roll global crit chance. That's what you're looking for on a weapon. But generally, uh, you do want a bright peak. It will make you zoom, zoom, super fast. Um, just again, pay, pay attention that the resistances, when you swap gear, remember that bright peak gives us resistances. So when you want to swap, just keep that in mind. So you won't be in a situation where you're fighting a boss and you're using your DPS weapon, but your resistances are uncapped because you're used to running with Bright Beak. Just ignore the Bright Beak resistances, and whenever you're getting an upgrade, remove it so that you can see your actual resistances. That's just a tip. If you want to run with Bright Beak against bosses, that's perfectly fine. Most of them will die with the Bright Beak, and you won't need the extra damage coming from this... Um, from a from a DPS weapon. This one is just not really a DPS one. It's just a piece of garbage that I found um, at level 50 something, and uh, I've been using it until I found a couple maps ago, the Bright Beak. Uh, I think I pretty much covered everything. So let's uh, go and run a map. It's crazy, but yes, let's go and run a map. Uh, currently, we're opening up the Atlas. I don't really have too many high tier maps to run with you but you know we're gonna do our best uh, I don't need any of these just like right these are just all for the video oh yes an important note okay so <laughs> good thing I remembered multi trap is going to be a low level cluster it's a worse version of a cluster trap okay uh, multi trap allows us uh, to throw two additional trap but cluster traps allows us to throw three additional traps okay and even more traps placed at the time so we want cluster traps uh, to be able to throw um, well there's four traps here right here on the ground one two three and four see there's four traps on the ground right now that's what we're throwing okay four traps each time with uh, multi trap we're going to only throw two additional traps so three traps at a time and for very very late game purposes you would want to be looking for a shaper pair of gloves if you guys uh, watched my glacial cascade mines you saw that for helmet doesn't matter any helmet if it's a shaper's helmet it has uh, an additional mine this socket gem supported by whatever but place an additional mine Okay, this will appear as a suffix on a helmet, shaper's helmet, and it can appear from level 68. Okay, the same thing happens for shaper's gloves, only it's on the glove slot and uh, instead of helmet. And this will allow us to throw an additional trap. So we're placing an additional mine, we're throwing an additional trap. The end result here is that instead of throwing four traps like I just showed you you will be throwing one more and that increase is essentially well 25% increase so you know that's a 25% more damage that we're going to be able to output and that's massive so instead of throwing four traps we're going to throw five with this shaper mod look out for shapers mods as early as you can find them and uh, just make sure to hopefully have some life resist there that will be able to balance it for your character early on. Later, of course, it's going to be pretty easy. And, you know, a couple of days into the leagues, the, the trade, you know, POE trade is going to be swamped with these type of gloves. Okay, don't worry about it. Plenty of trappers out there, and they're pretty and going to be pretty cheap. But you can craft yourself just Alk, craft, uh, scour Alk, scour Alk, or even alteration orbs. And then try and hit the resist, and then regal, and then craft some resists, craft some life, whatever that your character needs. Okay, but that's a very, very important note. And uh, cluster traps, again, uh, is going to allow us to throw an additional trap, but that is only an Act 4 I, uh, item. You get it uh, in Act 4, level 38. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a better version of multi trap 
from level 38. So make sure to, to change that, okay? And also, um, Lightning Spire does not need that. That is only for the Arc Traps. And now I think I said everything, and let's go and kill a map. I'm just going to vendor all that stuff because it was uh, purely for the video. Uh, nothing here is leveled. Seems good. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't really have too many maps. What do I have here? A tier 6 Ashen Wood. Let's complete it together. Alright, so we're just gonna Alk and go. No temp chains, double boss, seems good. Let's complete it together, let's open up the Atlas. Maybe we drop a tier 7. Uh, maybe we drop a clear mind jewel. Oh shit, Zana. So yeah, we also got Beyond here. I'm not gonna, you know, make this... Basically, yeah. I'm not gonna make this map take forever. Because there's like, you know, it's... Abysses and all that stuff. But I am going to do the Zana mission. It's Gardens. Complete another master's mission. Okay, let's go. Um... <laughs> Gardens with tar on the ground. Oh my god, it's gonna be slow. So yeah, I mean, it's the race, so we have ourselves... Uh, I hope it's not like Vorisi. Oh, shoot. Please don't be Vorisi. Give me some quick Elrion mission. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, yeah, you pop the flask, you throw a couple of traps and everything dies. That's how it works. The build is very, very strong, and my gear is not even close to... You know where it could be, especially uh, you know. Uh, speaking about the um, the additional mine, the additional trap uh, is pretty pretty big. Relic chamber. I actually already have that one. So yeah, bright Beak is very very very. <laughs> well, it's very very quick. Uh, it is a Zana map, so anything can drop here. Maybe, maybe I get like I don't know a ley line or something. Some uh, map that I don't have would be pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, you throw some traps and just arc chains and one shots everything. Um, it's pretty strong. And this is just an awful map to showcase because. I mean, it's a freaking garden. You got million turns and all. <laughs> it's one. Oh, loot. Yeah, you got like a whole bunch of like. Probably probably one of the worst map. Oh man, I hope it's not going to be a Katrina mission. I'm going to have to walk in this dungeon and this maze again. Oh, I heard a map. Please be one that I don't. Peninsula. Mm, frick. I actually have Peninsula as well. The thing is, when you are in a Zana mission, maps that drop... Oh! The good old video value feels pretty good. Okay, and we also got a Vagan mission, which is pretty GG. Okay, so Vagan, we throw our... Um, yeah, that, that's it. This is Lightning Spire, okay? It's just an overtime, and it's just... it. Yeah. You saw, Vegan didn't really have a chance. Uh, but what I did forget to do, because I was talking, is uh, throw, throw down a bear trap. Okay, so you throw down a bear trap. Ah, he's level 5. <clears throat> cool, so what we want to do, I want to show you how slow bear trap makes enemies. So let's just find this dude. And yeah, look how slow he is. He's like super well. Yeah, okay. See how slowly he moves? Get in here. He actually needs to trigger the trap. <laughs> He's jumping. He's annoying. Anyways, it's pretty fun. He's super slow when you hit him with the thing. And then you just throw a couple of lightning spires and that that's it. Like, it keeps going, but he's long gone. Anyways, we did complete the... Uh, Master's mission. We can't go back to Zana and finish the video. I mean, you saw what it what it does. It's an extremely powerful build. But let's. I mean, we started it, so might as well let's farm together. Let's farm together. <laughs> it's actually it's actually a very very fun build. I uh, 
was very much expecting that I will enjoy it and uh, I am actually loving it. It's very very strong. And uh, maybe I will finally kill Uber Elder with this build, who knows. I don't want to make any promises, but there might be... Oh, you. So Lightning Spire does the trick. Um, so yeah, I don't want to make too many promises, but there might be a first Uber Elder. I just, you know, Uber Elder. It takes a lot of practice, and I just basically neglected the whole practice aspect. Okay, Mausoleum. Shit, I have that one too. Anyways, that's a snaring bear trap, and that's the lighting spire. I did it slow, but basically you throw it quickly. I just did it to, to, to demonstrate. Shit, dude, we have Mausoleum too? What are the chances? I mean, I barely have any tier 6s. But hey, we did get an exalt. Right, so pretty good. Zana will be leveling up. And I mean, let's kill this one. We got beyond and bunch of crit multi and bunch of damage mods. And this is uh yeah, this is a much rougher map. And that's where we started off, so man, I hope there's not gonna be a trial of ascendancy also here. I mean I wouldn't I do want but basically if basically the video is over so you guys thanks for watching I'm I'm, I'm gonna continue farming and recording this because I already started but I mean you guys get the point arc OPOP -OP, traps OPOP -OP, Sabo is just very very strong right now defensive and offensive wise oh baby these guys are crazy Oh yeah, and also make sure to highlight in your loot filter ivory spirit shields, ivory uh, bone spirit shields. Oh man, a lot of porcupines. Ivory bone spirit shields. Um, the double bosses are here somewhere. Yeah, one of them is dead. Uh, Rip loves. So yeah, ivory bone spirit shields and uh, um, there we go, completed. Ivory, Bone Spirit, and Fossilized. Fossilized Spirit Shield, Ivory Spirit Shields, and Bone Spirit Shields. Why? Because these have the highest implicit uh, spell damage roll, and they will... they have the most potential for, you know, the most damage you can get off of a shield. And what you want to do is you want to highlight these on your... Um, on your loot filter so that... Um, okay, let's stay away from all these porcupines. Holy... God damn it. I just don't want to die recording this. Can I please not die? <laughs> Sweet. Okay, let's throw this. And pop this and say goodbye to the essence guy. Yeah, so you wanna you wanna highlight these and you wanna throw alchemies on them. Or uh, what I do is throwing essences on them. And this is a perfect example because never mind it's not. I thought it was Essence of Scorn is what we're looking for, basically. Envy is not good. But, I mean, you can throw it. It gives Chaos Resist for this league. Could be pretty good if I hit. I did not. Uh, but basically, you're looking for, you know, the spell crit, the spell damage, life, resist, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. So, in this case, it's uh, actually garbage. But, let's get into this incursion and finish the video with that. Uh, room full of weapon is the other architect in the south. Of course, uh, projectile, you know, are dangerous. You gotta sidestep these. Uh, we can connect there. Architect, first of all, clear the tra. Uh, these guys, they're more dangerous than the architect. But yeah, you just throw a bear trap, and then the lightning spire will just destroy this guy completely sidestep these projectiles because they will destroy you and then I want to connect here Let's slow him down lightning spire dead just because he looked big not because like normal traps won't kill him oh my god these projectiles are brutal I gotta get myself some cast resist for this for this leg because like this is only a tier 6 map later on it's gonna be pretty brutal we got some stuff. Anyways, I won't bore you with collecting and identifying the loot. 
this is the build guide this is an insane build strongly recommended for delve i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you like me come and visit me i'm uh, streaming almost every day gonna be grinding a lot when i'm not at work uh, when the new delve league starts thank you very much for watching links for the trees and all that stuff are gonna be below um, take care guys take care